What's up guys? Welcome back. I am currently on the road on a mission, technically two missions. I am currently in South Carolina, been on the road since about 4.30 this morning, been on the road for about three and a half hours out of five hours of this drive. Going to show you guys where I'm headed. I'm not sure what the thumbnail disclosed. We'll catch up with you guys very shortly and I'll let you know what exactly it is that we're doing this weekend. Made it to Kyle's house in South Carolina. Oh, I didn't even mention that I was coming here. Yeah. So I'm back at Kyle Golding's house. Back at Kyle's house with an empty trailer. So that might be revealing something. Not really talking about what I'm here to get yet. It's a beautiful day. Kyle's freezing to death. Skinny guys are built for this. <laughs> He's lived down here too long. We're gonna go get Waffle House, because Kyle loves Waffle House, and so do I. But we're gonna take the JDM hatch that he's got. As you can see, Kyle is a bit of a Honda guy. He's got a CRX SI here, the CRV in electric blue, I believe it's called, and the JDM hatch. He's actually trying to sell this at the moment, but he's still kind of not sure if he wants to get rid of it. I wish I was coming to get this car. I'm not. I could be, but. I mean, we could put this on the trailer. Make it happen. <laughs> oh, also, got some of the double. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I saw yours when you came last time. I was like, oh my god. That's so funny. Hands down, my favorite pants now. Right? They're so comfortable. Yeah, they're comfortable. Yeah. So comfortable. That's so funny. Yeah. Just the black. I had no these. idea until I saw yours. <laughs> yeah, I've been wearing them for ten years now. Ten, maybe no, twelve years. I bought my first pair in two thousand ten. The skinny double knee. All right, we're back at Kyle's shop. Him and his dad work out of this shop. Aside from coming out here to hang out with Kyle for the next couple of days, I did come out for a reason. And as you guys know, I have the truck and I have the trailer. So I think what I'm gonna show you guys first is something I'm pretty excited about. Kyle has a motor uh, that I'm picking up for the auto union. Now, if you've seen the last couple of episodes, you know that I'm putting the 1000 SP over the 59 Beetle chassis over that pan and I was undecided on what I wanted to do as far as power plant goes. I thought about doing a Corvair motor, which I still really want to do in the future, but I don't have a motor on deck. I've got one back home in New Hampshire, but to go get it and pull it out of the car is just gonna be quite an expense right now. So to get this process started and to gain some ground on this project, I decided to just go with a Beetle motor. And Kyle just so happens to have a fully dressed, running, dual port motor. Nice and clean. So this motor came out of a, a thing that he's restoring and they rebuilt the motor for it. And this is the motor that came out. This is a rebuilt, but he's driven the car with the motor. So it's a tested motor. Good to go. <laughs> the motor in the 700 is a single port 1500. Uh, so this will probably definitely feel like a different motor altogether. So this is the motor that came out of it, which in Kyle's opinion, like really had nothing wrong with it. He drove the thing with the motor in it. Yeah, was willing to sell it to me and I couldn't say no. So we're here to get this thing and I'll be that much closer to being able to assemble that pan and have the auto union like that much closer to drivable, obviously, because you need a motor. So yeah, so the 59's got a split case in it and apparently I need to modify the housing a little bit in order to run that flywheel. Um, basically because the casing is just a little smaller. Six volt casing. Ah, is that the yeah, difference? Six volt starter. Yep. Yep. Or flywheel is a little smaller. I bought an EF. I bought a Civic. <laughs> I'm a Honda boy now. <laughs> it's Kyle Golding's fault. <laughs> this thing's sick. Drug him into it. Kyle's put a ton of work into this car. He just had the motor apart, did the head on it, timing belt. I'll get more information out of you as to all the things you've done to this car, but it's a one owner car. It's a high mileage car. It's an automatic too, which I think is hilarious. Original paint, Southern car, rust free. I mean, I'm from New Hampshire. All you guys from up north, you know you can't find EF sedans rust free anymore. This thing is in incredible condition. Come on, blue. <laughs> The palmy blue. Yes. I've said it before. My first car was an 89 second gen Accord. I've always wanted another one. A coupe, a four door, doesn't matter. I've always wanted one. 
but I've always loved the EFs, the EF sedans and the Waggle vans specifically. The hatches are growing on me, but when we came out to get the 59 Beetle from, from Kyle about a month or two ago, uh, he had this, the motor was in pieces, and I immediately was drawn to it. I'm like, man. Yeah, I'm like, what are you doing with this? He goes, well, I'm putting the motor back together and it's gonna be for sale. So for the last two months now, I've been itching about this thing. Kyle got it done, he had a few buyers on the line. He said, what are we doing? And I knew that I wanted that Beetle motor. And so we're killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> I brought the trailer out, going home with a Beetle motor and an EF sedan. I'm excited, I'm so excited about this. Couple other cool little surprises in this episode too that we've been talking about that we're gonna do the rest of today. Gonna to be the new daily driver, cold AC, hot heat, Kyle's done a great job on this car. Kyle's Instagram is in the video's description below. If you, he's always building these things up and selling them. In this form, in full blown like restoration mode, like whatever form you kind of want one of these cars in, he's always selling Honda. So if you want a nice Honda that's been like rebuilt, he's usually got something. Oh. Look, look at the bottom of the door. There's a bottom <laughs> of a door here. Look at that. There's bottoms of doors. Yeah. Look at the look at the sills. Come on, man. Yeah. This thing is solid. Love the blue. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yep. <laughs> I'm not a Honda boy uh, yet. <laughs> Give me time. I'll be a true Honda boy soon. Yeah, look how clean it is, so man. Machine, man. Yeah. So all the valve cover and the bottle body cover got restored too. Yeah, this, this looks great. Yeah. Done correct. I'm like most people with the spray over everything. Yep. Black. Man, sewing machine. Yeah. It sounds great, man. Last time I saw this motor it was just a block yeah, sitting in there. Car, yeah. I don't <laughs> yep. even think the bay was clean. No, you hadn't cleaned the bay yeah. up. This all looks amazing. Yeah. yeah, throttle body cover, valve cover all restored. Yeah, that's always the toughest to clean, too. It is, yeah, it stains almost. Yeah, it actually came out really nice. Yeah, it looks so good, man. I'm so stoked on this thing. AC car. Power steering car. Power steering car. It's an 88? Yep, first year. First, first year, year EF. Yeah. So All right, let's nice. just say it. Let's just say it. We're going to be lowering it while I'm here. <laughs> and we didn't really even know that until until like 20 minutes ago. Kyle's got some coilovers just like laying on the ground. I'm like, where do those go, dude? He goes, Your car. they could go in that car. And I'm like, do you want to put them in? He's like, yep. So we're actually going to we're gonna drive this back to his house and we're going to lower it or slam it uh, while I'm here. But yeah, so I figured while we're here, We'll put some suspension in it. We're gonna do a trans service on it as well. All right, well, there's the first look at the EF sedan that I ultimately came out here for. I needed that Beetle motor too, but being able to acquire a new daily driver slash fun project, fun Honda project, and the power plant. But the fact that Kyle had both of these things uh, made coming back out here uh, out. warranted. Yeah, it was a drop of a hat. We just, we talked literally yesterday about it and I decided to come out here today and tomorrow make it a two-day thing. Look at that. What are the chances? <laughs> so he just so happens to have a set of coilovers here for the EF. And since they are super easy looking to install, these are my first Honda coilovers I've ever installed. Uh, they look much like Mark 1, Mark 2 Volkswagen uh, level of ease. We're gonna we're gonna throw them in and be back see, in five minutes. Yeah, see what it looks like afterwards. <laughs> it's funny because this was not in the plan. This was not in <laughs> the plan. There's anything ever in the plan. It's Tom. so f <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's so funny because I, I even thought when I hooked onto my trailer, I decided to throw planks in the bed, and I was like, I think stock high. I won't need planks good, with the ramps. Yeah. Glad I brought them. Take that and put it all the way there. Here. <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> That's enough for stock uh, tops of the tires. Yep. Yeah. So as you can see here, this perch doesn't fit all the way down into the cup. 
We can only go so far. So we're gonna go down that far and see if it sits level or just raked enough to look good. The front's sitting right where I'd want it to sit on stock steelies with balloon tires or normal sized tires. There's nothing worse than like slamming a car on factory wheels with like factory tires no. and you just bounce on the sidewall so of the tire. The Tell them what you just told me. So 88, the 88 Civics ran a different lower control arm on the rear than the 89, 91 and up really. And so there's a one year lower yeah, control arm? one year, yeah. So they went to the fork style rear shock after, after this, this yeah yep. so he has the coilovers for the late cars but they don't make a rear coilover for the 88 and we forgot about he forgot about that while we're doing this it turns out he's got a late model ef out back with lower control arms in it which we're about to take out <laughs> so we're going to do a lower control arm swap in this car in order to get those coilovers to work all right, so we're out back in his Honda Boneyard. There's a fifth gen Accord wagon here, which is kind of cool. CRX, a Wago van, a shuttle, and an EF that we're going to rob the lower control arms out of. He's already on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh, totally different. Yeah, this yeah, is so a, the 88's a cup. It's a fork, yeah. Yeah. 88's a cup. All the Honda kids watching this are screaming at the TV and at me right now because I this is my first go around. Oddly enough, although my first car was an 89 second gen Accord, I've never done suspension on a Honda, ever. This is my first Honda build. <laughs> Quickest control arm swap ever. All right, well, we got control arms and Kyle's hooking it up right now. Yeah, this is more than I expected. I didn't even expect to be putting coilovers in this car today and lowering it. Let, a, let alone needing uh, different lower control arms uh, that would have stopped the project in its tracks. Yep. And we got them out back. Yeah, I didn't have any of these parts, cars. It would have been. Well, I mean, we haven't even showed them the Type R Integra over there. Yeah, screaming as I see that. You're letting it rot. No, well, you're not letting it rot, though. You saved it. See, it's in line. On the Ryan drive. Yeah, so for anyone wondering, he saved this car. You pulled it out of like a barn too, didn't you? Yeah, very, very old building. Yeah. yeah. So this has been saved. It might look like it's sitting out back here rotting, but it's in line. Yep. <laughs> yep. And if you've seen anything else that Kyle's done, it's in a good line. He's the blue hatch in the shop. It was worse off than that car when I got it. And the um yeah, I haven't even talked about it in this episode yet. If you saw the episode where I came to get the 59 Beetle, you saw his white civic which is basically a drag car How, 750 to the wheels almost yeah almost 750 mm -hmm. horse to the wheel and it's just over 2,000 pounds dry unreal so we might take that out tomorrow r.i.p us yeah, <laughs> look at this look all you, at all you look viewers at, from up north yeah oh look man it's so blue to the corners that's insane. Unreal. These are the cars I get, and I'm like, I can't roll the quarters. I know. They're too nice. I know. Rust-free EF is something that you yeah. never see up north. Honestly, you All never see it. Eating out of there. Yep. So, 88 and 89.91. Loose too, and we'll tighten them up when we get it. All right, so what we're doing now is the rear wasn't quite as low as we wanted it, and since those perches are as far down as they'll go, we're going to take the perch right up out so the spring will sit down in that cup. And I'm curious how far that'll make it go. Three quarters of an inch. We'll go maybe. below that. It won't go down. No, it'll right? go into here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll be good. So that got us like an immediate half inch drop. So Jeez. I don't think that's going to be, yeah, hopefully a little bit more. <laughs> I think that was the move. This is so much closer to the ground. That was the oh, move right there. Right. Taking the taking the rear purchase out was the move. This oh, thing, yeah. I think. That's what I used to do. <laughs> we, have, 
This isn't Kyle's first rodeo. He's been doing this Honda stuff forever. And I'm happy that we curb loaded all the bushings. We have yet to tighten them all up. But we basically loosened up all the bushing bolts, compressed the control arms, all the control arms, and retightened them. Uh, so they're basically curb loaded for where the car sits now, which will add so much more quality to the ride. Yeah, we're low now. Feels cool we're getting out of it now. <laughs> what you think, John? I dig it. <laughs> we just put her put her closer to the ground. Yeah. I've only driven it once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that lasted 10 minutes. It's the next day. We're going to go get coffee. We're going to go to Honda and get uh, Transfluid and then take it for a test run. It's a beautiful day. It's a little chilly, but it's going to be great. Be warm up. Now we're going to take the CRX, the SI. The cursed CRX. The cursed CRX. <laughs> we're at the Honda dealership. Just picked up some transmission fluid. He only puts Honda fluids and everything. In, in these old Hondas. Honda oil filters, Honda coolant, Honda transfluid. Yep. A lot of people don't know, but uh, Honda's oil filters are all the same for every model except for S2000. Wow. Wow, yeah. I didn't know that. That's yeah. crazy. You can keep them stacked up. Yeah, that's really nice fluid. All right, so we're draining the transfluid. Gonna do front brake pads as well, since those are way down. So the fluid looks brand new. So the, the fluid hasn't been in there for all 200,000 miles, that's for sure. We are literally dragging the mud flaps out on our way out of Kyle's yeah, yard here. Self-clearing. It's not like slam slam, but it's enough yeah. to like be dragging. Yeah. You can tie 13s on it. I mean, it's pretty low. Yeah. All right, we're going to take it for its first drive. We're going to go back to the park where we shot it yesterday and kind of get some comparison walk around B-roll shots of it. Yeah. All right, so this thing rides amazing down the road. Kyle and I were just talking about how we've both come from like the super low static days and just driving on bump stops and even less than yeah even less than bump stops and this thing rides almost almost as good as it did stock and all we can hear going down the road is no rattles no weird noises just mud flaps dragging on the pavement that's literally all we can hear going down the road cruising at we're doing 60 right now that's great and it feels amazing man this is like the best of both worlds like reliable cheap to work on looks good low and still rides well yep. like that's you can't ask for anything better and it's good on fuel it's, it's fuel like economic <laughs> probably make it home on that <laughs> probably it's it's almost on e but we could probably drive it all the way home on that voila I haven't even seen it roll yet, and when I pulled away, you were like, it looks so good! <laughs> it does, dude. Oh, man. A little brick. <laughs> it is, it's a little rolling brick. That's a perfect drop, too, yes, for a daily yeah. use. So, taking the rear perches out, yeah. and not having any control over what that drop did, worked out perfect, because they do look good with like a minuscule amount of forward yeah, rake. Yeah. And that's what it's got, because it was way too much. It was way too stadium yeah, seating yeah, before. And we didn't sacrifice any ride quality. It rides so good down the road. So when I got the car, um, it's basically a one family owned its entire life, a uh, military owner. I think they had let their grandson drive the car for a summer and it blew a head gasket. It has like, what, 206,000 on it, which is typical for a Honda. Yep. So when I got it, pulled the head off, sent it out to the machine shop, had it resurfaced. Uh, new valves, valve job, did all the head bolts, of course. Axles. Axles, so did timing belt, water pump, you know, all the typical maintenance stuff. Flushed the coolant system, did a radiator, yep. thermostat. Set a little bit on that front fender from a blowout, tire blowout. Yep. Um, but other than that, never been hit. I mean, 100% original paint, which is how you want to find them. Yep. I mean, there's nothing hiding. Kyle's got a passenger side mirror he's willing to let me take with it yep. and a four spoke lighter EF steering wheel since the two spoke that's in this. I actually really do like the two spokes, They're but the, cool. the sun yeah. has just like they're destroyed they're, it. Yeah. it it's, yeah. it's basically like a throttle grip steering wheel now. So clock, I'm gonna put a clock in it. Digital clock, it's got a block off in it. I mean, the car is honestly leaving in so much cooler of a condition. <laughs> a lot different and, than it was. Oh my gosh, it's made me so much more excited about this car immediately.
EF is loaded up. Beetle motor is loaded up. You probably can't see it too well, but Kyle pulled out the big horsepower Civic. We might take that for a rip. Really stoked on this rig. Really stoked on the OBS, the 24 foot trailer, and the EF. And the dual port motor for the auto unit. I'm excited on all this stuff. It's been a good weekend. All right, you gotta tell us, like, what is it and why? And <laughs> 740s on it, man. 740 yeah. horsepower. That's where we stopped. <laughs> K20, just piston rod bottom end, stock sleeve, built head, built crane. Turbo? Precision 6266, and that was basically our stopping point power wise. Yeah. We tapped that thing out. Wow. Um, You've had it over 10 one. years, right? This January is going to be 10 years. 10 yeah. year ownership. Yeah. Been through a lot. I don't think the fuel pump's loud enough. <laughs> this is my first rip in this thing. I feel like I should have earplugs being this close to the pipe. <laughs> it's all the experience. Protection. This thing's an actual weapon. Like you said, he's got it tuned down. A six, over little over 600. They downloaded it at 740, and he honestly wasn't giving it all the juice. We're just rolling into it easy. That's what the freak out is, like knowing that there's more. Oh, yeah. You know? I think there's a reason why I haven't built a fast car before. And I think this is why. Like Kyle said off camera, I respect this car, which, and it's something like this, you need to. Wowee. <laughs> Gosh, that thing is a weapon. Gosh, that thing is nuts. Well, super fun weekend. Super stoked on the EF. Mm -hmm. Stoked on the Beetle motor. Can't thank you enough for the hookup on both of these things. Oh, yeah. New daily driver and part beat for the Auto Union. Can't thank Kyle enough. Got to make sure we hang out more often. I know. The drive's not that bad. We've done good the past few months. Yeah. That's <laughs> my yeah. turn to come out of you. Twice in the last two months. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all the support. Check Kyle out and everything he's doing. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.